What is going on guys? Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial and today is going to be how to create ghost platforms. Now, if you if you don't know what ghost platforms are, basically if you've ever played Doodle Jump on the iPod or something like that, uh, you can actually jump through uh, the block going up, but when you come back down, uh, you, you can't go through it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so what I've done is I went ahead and created a simple um, platformer. And if you don't know how to do a platformer, go ahead and check out that link in the description and it will bring you right there. But uh, if you have, then let's go ahead and continue. Uh, so let me just name this player. I don't know why I did, didn't do that before. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create our ghost platform here. Uh, now what I did is I went ahead and created the sprite. It's a 32 by 8. And it could be any any size really. I just picked that just because it looked different than the other blocks. Uh, or this other block here. And uh, I didn't center it. So that's something to think of there. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't matter if you center it or not. Uh, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and create the ghost platform. And go ahead and give it the sprite. And I'm going to make it solid. And basically with our collision code that we're using, it has to be a solid uh, type of block in order to actually land on it and not just jump through it. So the idea of what we're going to be doing here is we are going to check whether or not our player is going in the up direction. And if it is, then we're going to switch solid off on the ghost platform and if he's coming down we're going to switch it on so um in our obj player what we're going to do is we're going to just say well first off let me just show you that in the obj block this is the collision that we're using move contact solid direction 12 v speed equals zero and that's going to be the the collision code we're using for um the ghost platform so let me just go ahead and press OK there. All right. So go ahead and put in some code here. Let me just make it a little bigger. There we go. Uh, and again, what I said is we're going to check whether or not we are going up or down. And that is going to be on V speed, vertical speed. And that is just checking the up and down speed. If it's negative, that means we're going up. If it's positive, that means we're going down. Okay. So, what we're going to be doing is first off, we're going to check whether we are going down. So, if V speed is greater than or equal to zero, because remember, he can land on it, um, then we're going to go ahead and put in some brackets here. We're going to say with OBJ uh, ghost platform, ghost platform, um, solid equals true okay that's all you really have to do for that and we obviously have to put in our our uh, direction or our collision methods here and then v speed equals zero okay so that is if you're going down that is going to happen okay then we're going to say else so else if v speed is less than zero, which means we're going up. I'm gonna put in some brackets here. With OBJ ghost platform solid equals, come on, guess it, false. There we go. And basically, that's about it. Here, let me go ahead and put it in the room here. Just put a couple in the room. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play it here. And here's our player. And as you can see, he can jump through it, but he cannot come down. Same with the top one here. Boom. And look, at if you try to jump to the side here, on the side of it, um, he cannot go down. And even if you can land on it just like that. Uh, so this is glitch-free. And it's pretty awesome to incorporate in some of your games. Uh, so go ahead and leave a like if this tutorial helped you out. Go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you next time.